Hey guys, what's up? Jason over here at Red Digital. And today we are going to talk about where are you? And also taking advantage of the current situation. So as many of you know, there's a lot of turmoil, turmoil going on right now. And I do have Leslie and Reagan. Reagan's shooting the camera. Leslie's in the background. She'll be commenting a little bit. So something we noticed um, with everything that's happening, you got first off COVID. So everyone's home. One. Everyone's looking at social media. Then you had the whole George Floyd thing come out. So everyone is putting their opinions, posting things, and then what happens is they have to defend their opinions. And next thing you know, they're spending three or four hours a day on social media stuff. So as a business owner, what are you doing? Um, I am just not seeing enough of you guys running ads. So I wanna give you three quick tips and why you should be taking advantage of the current situation. Example. Um, two days ago, everyone on social media was posting all that they were just posting black. Okay. And what I saw with my leads is my leads went from a $30 lead all of a sudden down to a $13 lead. Okay. And I think Leslie, would you see Leslie? Um, yes. my leads in certain States were about $11 and I got some for a dollar 72. And then my client emailed me saying, Hey, has there been an error? Why are we getting okay. so many leads? So she was at eleven dollars per lead, and because she because of everything that was happening in the media, because everyone was posting these black screens, her lead went down to one dollar seventy nine cents. Okay, that is eleven leads or half, say yeah, six. Yeah, I got six leads. Six in one leads hour. compared to where she would have gotten one lead. Okay, so I hope you're seeing what's going on here. Um, everyone is sitting on Facebook. Everyone is sitting on Instagram. They are scrolling. You had another 2 million people claim unemployment this month. So we're up to probably about 35 million people unemployed. And what are they doing all day? Nothing. They're on social media. They're on watching TV. So we want to take advantage of that. Got it? And you're going to use three things. Okay. You need to make sure you're running ads on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube. YouTube's a little more difficult because you have to shoot some videos, but you sure you for sure should be running Facebook and Instagram ads. So if you're a dentist and your practice is open, why aren't you all over Facebook? If you're a new restaurant and you just opened your doors, why aren't you running ads on Facebook? That is where your audience is at. And so what you want to do is first get on these platforms. Make sure you have a business manager account. Make sure you have an ads account. And if you don't know how to do that, you can go YouTube it. Then the next thing you need to do is make sure you create some type of offer. So if you're a, a dentist and let's say you're, um, you have a good deal on Invisalign. Well, somebody out there has probably been waiting for a good deal on Invisalign. So just give them the deal, maybe 20% off on Invisalign, but you have to have some type of offer that goes along with your ad. Okay. Then you're going to run it. Where are you going to run it? You're going to run it in your local community. If you're a local business, if you're a national brand, run it all over the United States, whatever you want to do, you just need to narrow down your target audience. Make sure that if you're go back to a dental practice or a chiropractic practice, you're not running your ads in a different state or you haven't messed up and you're running your ads. And say, if you're in Utah, and you're in the city of St. George, don't be running your ads all the way out to Salt Lake. So be careful because you're gonna screw up. That happens a lot. Yes, it does happen <laughs> a lot. I see people running ads all the time. I'm like, that is not relevant for my state. They shouldn't be running ads here. Um, man, I was just thinking there was one yesterday. Yeah, there's a lot of like Kairos and IVs. Oh. Yeah. I was actually, Grant Cardone. Um, Grant Cardone runs a lot of ads, a lot of ads, and he was running them yesterday to dentist owners and I was being targeted. I'm not, I don't own a dental practice. Um, and a lot of people on there were posting, I'm not a dentist, I'm not a dentist, I'm not a dentist. So he was running his ads to people that he shouldn't have been running them to. Okay. Okay. And finally, um, once you've created your offer, you need to drive these people to an actual landing page on your website. So Facebook tries to get you to use a form field on their platform. They're just not that quality of late. So what we do is we drive them to a landing page and how simple should this landing page be? Let me show you. Here's your landing page. All you need to do is have a headline that has your offer and has something to do with the pain that they're facing. Okay. What is their pain point? 
have that here, have an offer, then all you're gonna do is do a survey here. People like to do surveys over form fills. Some type of survey that asks them questions and leads them to the next question. And then down here, you can just put your testimonials. Those are stars, five stars, okay? So that's all it has to be. Don't worry about going out there and creating the humongous landing page. Keep it simple, stupid, got it? So you're gonna drive them to a landing page and on that landing page, you're gonna have a survey of some sort that has them fill out the information. Example, Leslie, what are we asking? What kind of questions are we asking for chiropractics or neuropathy? Do you suffer from neuropathy? Okay, simple. Do you suffer? What's your question number two? Uh, how much pain are you in? It depends what the service the clinic offers, but yeah. it's basically making sure they're a quality neuropathy lead. Yeah. So it, how much pain are you in? Okay. And what that does is it just gets them more engaged. And then also within the survey, we tell them, hey, can you take a call? Or what time can you take a call today? Just so we qualify them and so they're expecting a call. Got it? So this system, first off, take advantage of the current situation. There are so many people on social media right now posting, 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 commenting, commenting, commenting. They are all there. They're watching what's going on. We got riots going on. We got COVID going on. We got everything happening. And so what you want to do as a business owner, take advantage of it. Okay. Use social media to make money, not to prove your points. Okay. Social media is the perfect system. Who's made Who makes money at it? Zuckerberg, um, the CEOs, all those guys, they build these platforms to make money. Well, you should do the same. Use them to grow your business. Use them to make money. And then you can take the money and do it with it what you want. But use Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Then all you're gonna do is create some type of offer, run the ads, run them to a landing page, and then do it with a survey. And then this survey obviously goes to whoever needs to follow up with them. Questions? If you need help, we can do this all for you. If you're not doing it currently, reach out to us. Our information's below or on top, um, but you can track us down. We'd love to help. And that's it. Keep marketing. Peace.